Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to use templates and variable groups in the Azure pipelines. So let's start. So the pipeline templates can be reused among the different pipelines by just changing the parameters. So if you have multiple pipelines, you just need to change the parameters or the different variables if you are using the variable group and your deployment will be done automatically. So there are a few arguments which are required for creating a template. As you can see on your screen, these are parameters, extends, template, and repositories. I'll explain each of them in the next slide. So this is a sample template where you can see in the steps, there is a parameterization done where a Boolean value is required. So this parameters is mentioned here. The name should be same as where the value should be assigned and the type is boolean default you can define the default otherwise when you will use the same template in the pipeline there you will provide the value in the parameters i'll show everything in detail in the demo so this is a yaml pipeline where we provide the triggers however now we have to use extends if we want to use the template so here template we have provided the template file and in the parameters a value was required boolean value it should it could be it could be true or false so here we have provided false as a value so now that means using the pipeline we don't need to provide all those values we just need to provide the template details and the parameters and the deployment will be done so along with this to make it more dynamic we can use the variable group so first of all, what we have to do is we have to create a variable group and assign that variable group to the pipeline where you want to use it and then define that variable group in the pipeline, as you can see on the screen. So once it's done, you can use those variables which are defined in the variable group in the pipeline itself. Let's check this in demo. For this demo, I've created two Azure app services. The Shalender web app was created in the previous video, as you can see on your screen, as well as in the description for the link of this video. And web app two is created for testing purposes for this video itself. So let's go to the web app. I've used the custom domains and continuous deployment for this web app. I'll highly recommend to check that video before proceeding further on this video. So now you can see this web app is deployed and it's showing a sample page. The website is under construction. For this deployment, I have used the templates, variable groups, as well as the continuous deployment of Azure pipelines. Now, if we'll go to the pipeline, there are two steps required to deploy an app service. First one is archiving all the files which are pulled from the GitHub. And the second is to deploy the zip file into the Azure app service. Previously, all the parameters and the values were defined in the Azure pipeline file itself. But now I have parameterized all the values and created a template for it. So let's check. So in the first step, there is a task one, which is archiving the files. There is no change here. So what it is doing is when all the files are getting downloaded from the GitHub into the node agent, and then all those files are archived and a zip file is created. Now for the second task, there is a deployment to the web app where you have to define the Azure subscription or the service connection which you have created and the type is web app and the app name and the package. We don't need to parameterize this value because this automatically picks up where the zip file is created. So there are two values which are parameterized. One is Azure service connection and another one is application name. And if we'll go to the pipeline and edit the pipeline, And here you can see we have used the templates and defined the parameters here. But in this case, we haven't defined the parameters directly here because we use the variable group. And for using the template file, because it's in the different repository and we have provided the name for the repository as well as the endpoint, which is the service endpoint. And the type is GitHub. After providing all these values in the template file name, we have to define the parameters here. But in this case, I have defined the parameters in the variable group. Here I have defined the variable group name, which is created. If we'll go to the variable group, app service variable group, there is an app name and the connection. This is the name of the app and this is 
the service connection and the values are automatically picked up from here so when we run it it starts deploying it's waiting for the agent to receive and acknowledge now it's done it will download all the files then it will archive and deploy to azure web app so everything is deployed now if you click on this link you can see the same page because we haven't made any change in the git repo so now in this case what i want to do is there is another web app web app 2 which is yet not deployed and i want to use the same template to deploy in this web app let's check So first of all, I'll go to the repo, which is created for that web app. The repo name is web app two, and I've uploaded the sample files here. I haven't done anything else. So let's create a new pipeline. We'll go to the pipeline, new pipeline, GitHub page. This is the web app two we'll select. Let me provide access. So I'm providing access to all the repository. Now access is provided and let's start with a new pipeline. So instead of just creating everything from scratch, let's go to our previous pipeline and copy the files. So trigger, it's fine. Node pool, we want to use the pool which is or self-hosted agent variable groups let's create a new variable group for this because we want to change the value of the app name so let's clone it so instead of copy let's make it to so the web app name is web app 2 service connection is for the whole subscription so let it be the same Let's go to the pipeline again. Instead of variable group, we'll provide variable group two. And the template file is stored in this repo. If we'll go back to our account and pipeline template. So the template file is lying here, which can be used by any pipeline. So let's use the same values. This is in pipeline template. Endpoint is same. This is the template file and we are parameterizing these values which is coming from the variable group. So let's save. It's creating a new pipeline right now. So let's wait for a few seconds. New pipeline is created. Let's check. I needed some permissions which I have provided now. right now it's downloading all the files from web app 2 archived all the files now deploying to the web app which is shalender web app 2 it will take few seconds to deploy it will be quick i believe so it's successfully deployed now let's go to our app service and check i'll first refresh it and then click on the url perfect as you can see now that a web page is deployed so we have used the template file we have used the continuous deployment we have used the self-hosted agent as well as the variable groups for this type of deployment so that means using the template file we can deploy multiple pipelines without creating the code from the sketch we only need to change the variable values i hope you like this video please like and subscribe thank you so much